movies about dogs. <laughs> I try to avoid them. What was it? A dog's tale, dog's journey, or something like that. After Molly and me, I'm done. Don't want to watch any of these dog movies. Don't want to be all sad. Especially since Molly and me, we watched right after our one dog passed away from... That na that movie wasn't called Molly and Me. Our dog's name was Molly. Marley. Marley. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional. This is Dave from Nerdbox, and I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode, we are talking about dog. So fire up the Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. An Army Ranger K-9 is spending her final days in confinement after her handler dies. Discharged Ranger Jackson Briggs, played by Channing Tatum, is tasked with bringing Lulu to the funeral of her handler. Only Lulu is suffering from PTSD and isn't the friendliest road trip companion to have. Yes. We've seen that in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Now before we dive a little bit more into it, Swing over to our community page, follow me on Twitter, go over to our Facebook Nerdbox group or page there as well, and we will post about future videos that we will be filming. So if you have a comment or review about that movie because you've seen it as well, share it with us and we'll share it in the video. So this movie, directed by Channing Tatum and Reed Carolyn? Yeah. Both first time films that they directed. Yeah. They have a connection on other films like Magic Mind. They did a pretty good job with this film. I was pleasantly surprised when I found out he did. Not that many characters in this film. No. You didn't really need it. No. Because the story was told very, very well. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned to a few people already about this film here, thoroughly enjoyed it. And it has an underlining theme that doesn't take away from the story and the plot to get Lulu down to the funeral. Mm -hmm. But it's a very important one. And yeah. it's a very serious topic that comes mm -hmm. up. Yes. And I thought it was delivered amazingly. And Channing Tatum is kind of like Kristen Stewart for me. I think both of them are extremely talented. Mm -hmm. They just sometimes get saddled with some roles or... People think maybe they're too pretty and then it yeah. just haunts them mm -hmm. so they don't ever get taken seriously. I would like to see him in more roles like this. I think it really just portrays how good of an actor he can be. Yeah. Seriously, you you see his range in this movie where you don't get to see that in you know movies where he's a stripper. I mean, those are fun and he's pretty to look at, but there's so much more to him. There really is. And this movie is evidence of that completely. He was amazing in this movie. And I really felt, I felt what he was going through. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, it wasn't about his dead army partner. Mm -hmm. it, that's not who it was about. It was about him mm -hmm. and what he was going through and how Lulu helped him. Yeah, the, the two characters... The dog and Channing. <laughs> I'm going to cry just thinking about the well, dog. Oh. They're both characters. And they're both dealing with their own struggles. Because, yeah. you know, how often do we get to see or people talk about dogs that have PTSD yes. from being on the front lines. Yes. And being police dogs and yes. search and rescue dogs. Mm -hmm. It obviously is going to affect them. Just nobody ever talks about it. Yeah. And the unfortunate for these dogs, they get put to sleep. So they yes. do their service, they yeah. honor their country, they honor whatever job that they mm -hmm. do, and yeah. then they're put to sleep. And you see this a lot when it comes to, to animals. Greyhounds, a lot of times when their racing days are over, they're put down. Dogs that are like police dogs uh, or army dogs, they're typically Belgian Malinois. They are amazing animals. They are loyal to... Just, I mean, just the, one of the most loyal animals out there. They love kids. They're really just fantastic animals. They can be adopted as well. I mean, they're going to be older. Mm -hmm. They've gone through things. But if you have the time and the patience and the love, then you should look into it. It's not your buddy comedy no. movie. <laughs> it, it, it almost feels like a comedy when you're going into it. I would say it's a dramedy. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff going on between you know Jackson Briggs and and this dog Lulu. You know, they there's there's some stuff going on. You can feel it. <laughs> and it's I would say it's sad for all the right reasons. Yeah. And it's not going to be sad for what probably a majority of us are thinking is mm -hmm. going to happen in this film because it doesn't happen. It, it does not. Yeah. <laughs> So this one is definitely worth checking out in the theaters, I think. Yeah. What's your rating on this one? So, I'm probably going to end up having to see it in the theaters again anyway because the girls want to see it. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I would make that choice myself because I don't like to cry. <laughs> and, then, and, you, and again, you're not emotional and you don't cry for the, the wrong reasons. It's for the right reasons. It, it's for the story that's being told, which is amazing so i guess i would say that i would see it in the theater again is that your real rating yeah yeah okay. i enjoyed it so yeah i would not see this in the theaters again but i would buy it and i would probably watch it anytime that it was on tv because mm -hmm. it is entertaining good story good chemistry between the characters here and it just, I don't know how long this movie was. Do you remember? It was just under two hours, about an hour and 45, 50 minutes. Does not feel like that. No. Because it sucks you in and then you're just like, oh, let's just watch this movie. Yeah, it definitely a fantastic watch. Uh, and like I said, just the the chemistry between, I mean, it's so funny to be like, oh, the chemistry between a dog and, you know, this guy. But they were the two main characters and the chemistry was was just amazing and the dog was just a delight mm -hmm. every time like she would just look at you with those brown eyes and like oh that poor baby <laughs> so i have to say it's probably i know it's early but it's probably in the top three for movies that i watched this year so. yeah definitely definitely go see this movie and if you're not comfortable you know going out to the theaters then it'll still be a great watch no matter when you see it mm -hmm. definitely worth it just don't have a dog that just as intelligent as a Belgian Malinois yeah. <laughs> around because they may think that they get certain privileges too, which yeah. we'll find out. We will as soon as we watch it with um, said dog. <laughs> if you don't know what dog we're talking about, go check out a blooper reel. You'll see Cece. Oh yeah. She or likes hear to, her. She likes to be involved. <laughs> she likes her time on film. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe. Turn on notifications or silence them. That works too. We will be there when you need to watch reviews yes. or five things or watch yeah. interviews about independent films coming out. So we will be there in your notifications. Save your battery life. Mm -hmm. And of course, keep sharing. Yes. Thank you. We appreciate you. And until the next, see ya. See ya.